It's all part of a massive and urgent push by governments, scientists and the big drugs companies. This crisis is running out of hand and we have to be, be there with vaccines as quickly as possible to keep it under control. That is the request of the world community and that's what we respond to. The aim is to find ways of giving people resistance to the Ebola virus. And vaccines injected into the bloodstream are designed to act like the virus but on a smaller and safer scale. This provokes the immune system into producing antibodies, our natural defenders. So if the Ebola virus gets in, here it's shown in pink, those antibodies will be ready to overwhelm it. The vaccines are desperately needed, but rushing them into production does come with risks. Side effects may turn out to be serious and people already weakened by malnutrition or malaria. Second doses may be needed. It's hard enough getting everyone to have one vaccination, let alone two. And the reliability of the drugs is unknown. But tackling Ebola is so hazardous that any potential vaccine may be worth trying. The, the risk is very high to people who are in close contact with the patients. Um, and I think it's absolutely no doubt that for those people, even the vaccine that was 50% effective and there was a small risk um, that it might have some bad side effects, you would take that if you gave people the chance. The first trials got underway in Oxford last month. Previous outbreaks of Ebola were too small to attract the interest of vaccine developers. Now the drugs giants are gearing up. The results are uncertain, but it could be vaccines that turn the tide. David Shukman, BBC News.